everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. And Ready, Set, Pan indeed, because this video is basically gearing up for a use it up marathon, which is basically what we're doing on the channel anyway, but really puts it into perspective. Because today I am peeling back the layers. I am showing you guys all of the body use it up products. So we're going to be going through my entire collection. We are counting. We are looking at stuff. We have both travel and full size categories. So depending on what they are, I do break them down. But we're going to be looking at my hand soaps. We're going to be looking at my hand scrubs. We're going to look at the foot lotions. We're going to look at the hand creams. We're looking at body scrubs, shower gels, body lotions, body creams, body butters. <sighs> it's a lot. It is a lot. If you have caught one of my more recent playlists for Bath and Body Works content, I am kind of transitioning or in the mindset of wanting to transition most of my collection over to Bath and Body Works in terms of body care, body hygiene. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna like want anything else from other brands, or it's not gonna mean I'm gonna be exclusive, but I'm just really in that phase right now. I just wanna like dive into all of the scented goodness but I also need to be mindful of what I currently have in my collection. So I have been shopping the semi-annual sales for two years now, I believe. Um, so again, relatively new to Bath and Body Works, and I am pretty good at using up my products. So again, check out my Skin is In playlist. Then I do have them in more of the seasonal projects or really a whole bunch of other project pans. So Advent Calendars had them. It's Panning Cats and Dogs has had them. There's so many out there. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the clips. We're going to be talking about the numbers. We're going to be talking about my goals moving forward with my collection. And I think my thought for now, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, is that this is something I might keep up with. So again, to help keep on track, keep using up stuff, I'm thinking I'm going to be doing updates to this kind of after every semi-annual sale, right? So that's about six months apart. Mine is a little bit of a shorter time now that it's August, so you'll get another one in January after semi-annual sale. So that way you know where my collection's at after all of the major shopping's been done, and then we can pull things and go from there. So without further ado, let's just dive in to everything. So I'll be showing you clips, we'll talk about numbers after that, goals, next round, and keep going from there. I have two hand scrubs. These are the Mary Kay Satin Hands um, with Refining Shia Scrub. The first one, which is partially used, is in Citrus Rose. And then I have a White Tea and Citrus. Now, hand scrubs, I have technically separated those out. I mean, they could go in with the body, but I do use those products exclusively on my hands. As you saw, there are two of them. They are both from Mary Kay and... I mean, they're nice. So those will get used as they get used. I'm not too concerned about that category at all. This is the overview of all of the hand soaps. So starting off at the top, we have the ones that are currently in use. So we have Pomegranate Mango, Good Dent on that one from Life Brand, the Dove Foaming Hand Wash Coconut Water and Almond Milk. It is almost done, very close to the bottom. Bath and Body Works Waikiki Beach Coconut. As you guys can see, that one is also getting quite low. Golden Citrus and Vanilla. This one just moved into the upstairs bathrooms. Then we have this massive one from Soft Soap, the Soothing Clean Aloe Vera Fresh Scent. And there is a bit of a dent on that guy currently. Into the back stock from Bath and Body Works, we have Vampire Blood. Afternoon Apple Picking, Gangnam Gorgeous, Kitchen Mandarin, Sweet Mint and Rain, Peach Bellini, Kitchen Lemon, Sea and Sandstone, Mountainside Mist, Crisp Morning Air, and then another two Soothing Aloe Vera's refills. Oh, all of three of these ones have 2.36 liters of hand soap hand soaps um so again we're just counting all of them 
together, even though they're vastly different sizes, but that is okay. Uh, hand soaps, not Bath and Body Works, as you guys saw, were five. There were 12 that were Bath and Body Works, bringing me to a total of 17 hand soaps in my collection. So, you know, it's gonna take a while to get through all of those, but I'm gonna be seasonal with my scents. Um, so I'll be mindful about when I pull things out and we'll just kind of progress from there and kind of see, because I've never tracked hand soap usage or shower gel usage either. So for those categories especially, I'm interested to see how long it actually takes me to work through stuff. So here we have all of the hand creams. So starting up at the top, these are the two that are currently open right now. So we have one from OPI. This is their Avo Juice Jasmine Hand and Body Lotion. We also have from Bath and Body Works, the Japanese Cherry Blossom. From there, we move into our body shop hand creams. So there's one in pink grapefruit, festive berry, warm vanilla, and winter jasmine. This is our miscellaneous category. So we have one from Bizanti. This is their Brighten Up, Love My Hand Cream. From Dionys, this is the Goat Milk Hand Cream in Nutty Vanilla. And the Sol de Janeiro Hand Cream, the Brazilian Touch. From there, we have our Mary Kay ones. So we have one that is Citrus Fields, Peach Gardenia, Mango and Orange Flower, and citrus rose. So hand creams are one of those categories where generally you get them as gifts. Um, I have purchased a few myself, but hand cream, I'm thinking like I'll use it if I have it, but otherwise I could just use like another Bath and Body Works lotion. Uh, if there's something with a pump. I might try using those as my hand creams eventually. But as you guys saw, I have a bunch of them and I, uh, I missed two because this one was buried on my dresser and this one was under a counter so they weren't in the usual spots so just to show you these ones quickly this one came from boxycharm this is from serum kind the black blossom hand cream it's a metal tube as you guys can see there is not much left in here at all so this one's getting close to done and then I have this one, which is completely untouched. This is the Mary Kay Citrus Sorbet Hand Cream. You've got 2.5 fluid ounces or 73 milliliters in here. So when we're looking at the hand cream, so when we add these two in, and I just count hand creams in general, that brings me to 14 that are non-Bath & Body Works. One that is Bath & Body Works, that one's currently in a project, which brings me to a total of 15 teen hand creams. Goal for that, again, just to kind of use them down. Um, I'll have one at my bedside table. I might throw one on my purse and we'll just kind of use them as I use them. And that's kind of the intention for that category for now. This is the overview of all of my body scrubs. The one currently in use is the Body Shop, the Strawberry Body Polish. As you guys can see, not a ton left in that guy. Moving into more of the travel sample size scrubs, we have one from Moroccan Oil, their body polishing scrub. We have actually two of the KP Bump Eraser body scrubs, one's in use right now. And then we have one from Formula 10. This is a scrub me down exfoliating body scrub, raspberry and ginger. So we have the sand and sea salt in Fresh Getaway. We have the exfoliating glow in, in the stars. Another exfoliating glow in Summer Melody. And we have the Foaming Sugar Body Scrub in Gangnam Vibrant. And then from the Aromatherapy line, starting off with Orange and Ginger, this is the Pumice Body Scrub. Um, and then we also have the Fresh Start Sage and Cedarwood in the Salt Body Scrub. The Body Scrub category, not too bad, mainly Bath and Body Works in there. I did have some travel sizes, as you guys saw, so we had four of those okay i'm not in a big rush to get those used up because maybe i'll take them for travel if not they'll be easy to use up regardless um full size one non bath and body work six that are so seven full sizes currently not too concerned about that category and i'm just starting to learn right now how long it really takes me to use up the scrubs i tend to use them once or twice a week in the shower this is the current overview of all of the shower gels and body washes. 
starting at the top with the ones in use. So we have from Life Brand. This is their body wash in Mango Mandarin. We've got a little bit of a dent on that one. We have the Dove Deep Moisture Moisturizing Body Wash in a travel size and also a travel size of the Body Shop Brutus Rose. Which has a little bit of a dent on it. From Vita Bath, we have the Moisturizing Bath and Shower Gel. This is the one for very dry skin. So we have a smaller size of that one. And then we have a larger one in Orchid Intrigue. We have the Dove Body Wash Mousse. So we have the Argan Oil, the Rose Oil, and the Coconut Oil. From Soft Soap, we have two of the Coconut Butter Scrubs. And we have, which is, this is still a daily exfoliating body wash. We have one in Juicy Pomegranate and Mango. Getting into some travel sizes, we have from Philosophy Amazing Grace. You can use this shampoo, bath, or shower gel. Another travel size of the Dove in the Go Fresh Cucumber and Green Tea. And from Formula 10, the Look So Clear Alpha Hydroxy Acid Body Wash. Also from Tropical Fruits, we have the Coconut and Lime Shower Gel. And then finally, we have three from Bath and Body Works. So first off, we have the Whipped Coconut Milkshake, Rainbow Waves, and Sweet Pea. Shower Gel. <laughs> this category is really what I want to switch over to Bath and Body Works. Um, as you guys saw with the shower gels, five travel size non-Bath and Body Works. Um, and then in terms of the full size, ten that are non-Bath and Body Works and three that are. So 13 full size plus five travel sizes altogether. So I'm really gonna start trying to push to get the non-Bath and Body Works ones out so that I can enjoy. So I'm waiting for a Bath and Body Works soap sale. Don't go too crazy, Karina, note to yourself. Still got lots to use. I have two specifically foot creams. The first one is the Amopi Petty Perfect Extra Rich Skin Recovery Foot Cream. That one is almost done. And then I have the O'Keefe's for Healthy Feet Foot Cream. A small random category of foot creams. Um, interesting, and of course, I missed another one. Uh, this is the Mary Kate Foot Mask. It's technically a mask, but it really does the same thing as a foot lotion. So I'm just gonna throw it in this category anyway. There is a dent on it. So that brings me to a total of a three foot creams in my collection. None of them are Bath and Body Works and that's okay. Eventually once I get those used up, I will just use kind of more other regular moisturizers. Don't need something specifically for feet, at least at this point in time. We have lots of body lotions over here. So starting up at the top with the ones that are in use. From Tropical Fruits, we have Strawberry and Papaya. Fair amount of use down in there. The Mary Kay Time Wise Body Toning Lotion and the Mary Kay Mint Bliss Energizing Lotion for Feet and Legs. Finally in use currently, the Bath and Body Works Midnight Swim. From St. Ives, we have the Softening Coconut and Orchid Body Lotion, as well as the St. Ives Renewing Collagen and Elastin Body Lotion. In the travel sizes, um, from Celebrity Cruises, this is the Gilchrist and Psalms Replenish Body Lotion, the Ace B Argan Oil Body Lotion, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, the Body Shop, this is the Cranberry, this is their Shimmering Body Lotion. And then from Dolce & Cabana and their Travel Size, the Golden Satin Lotion, which is also very shimmery. Last Shimmery Lotion is from Delon, this is their Daily Moisturizing Face and Body Lotion, it's shimmering. Jerkins Ultra Care Moisturizer, Life Brand Cocoa Skin Lotion, Eucerin Complete Repair 5% Lotion. Moving into Bath and Body Works, starting off with the aromatherapy, we have one in Juniper and Sage, and another in Sandalwood and Vanilla. From the Faceted Collection, we have Strawberry Snowflakes, Champagne Toast, and a Sunshine Mimosa. Moving into more of the summer scents, we have a Summertime Surf, we have Pink Watermelon, Strawberry Soda, Sparkling Orange Spritz, 
and poolside cabana. Into the fall and the winter scents, brown sugar and fig, fall in bloom, gingham heart of gold, cashmere glow, and frosted coconut to snowball. Getting into the body moisturization categories. So I have divided these into obviously travel and full size, the lotions, the butters, the creams, just to keep them separated because they are different formulas. And uh, as you guys have seen, oh, this has been my weak point. This has definitely been my weak point. And as we're moving forward, what I'd like to do is, again, you've see, heard me talk about this before. I'm going to be pushing my 2020 manufacture dates for the body creams. They are up here. If you caught my skin is in update, I did talk about some ones that I'm also going to be starting to prioritize because they have turned yellow, which because of the vanilla scented notes in there. So that does affect their coloring. Because the color has changed, I also want to prioritize those. But I also want to simultaneously work through the non-bath body works because these things I'm excited for. I'm not to say I'm not excited for some of the other ones. It's just at a different level. So we're going to start off in the lotion. Lotion is, I was going to say not bad, but uh, looking at these numbers, uh, it's um, still kind of bad. Uh, so when we're looking at the travel sizes first, we have five. All of them, non-Bath & Body Works travel size lotions. Again, I'm not concerned about getting a whole bunch of travel size lotions because generally I don't travel with these kinds of products because if you're in a hotel, I'll just use what they have at the hotel. And if I'm traveling to see family, we generally drive to see people. So I'll just take a full size rather than a whole bunch of travel. So again, those will get used when they get used. Um, one of the full size products, we have nine that are non Bath and Body Works and we have 16, which are Bath and Body Works. So 25 lotions in the full size, bringing to a total of 30 lotions overall, which yes, is a lot. It is a lot. This massive pile is all of the body creams. Starting with the ones in use, we have a travel of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. From Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. From Bath & Body Works, we have the Aromatherapy Sea Soul Refreshing, the Sunset Glow, and In the Stars. In travel sizes, we have the Eucerin Complete Repair Moisturizing Cream, two of the Sol de Janeiro Beja 4 Elastic Creams, one of the Fenty Skin Body Creams, the Formula 10 My Softer Side Kiwi and Almond Oil, Dolce & Cabana Light Blue Refreshing Body Cream, and Refreshments of Velvety Body Cream Unscented. From Stone Street Warehouse, we have the Wholesome Body Cream, and then from Mary Kay, we have the Whipped Shea Cream. Moving into Bath & Body Works, we have Afternoon Sunshine, Strawberry Pound Cake, Aromatherapy Orange and Ginger, Midnight Swim, Hibiscus Paradise, Bahamas and Passion Fruit, Banana Flower, Waikiki Beach Coconut. We have Sunshine Mimosa, Summer Melody, Lakeside Citrus, Sea Island Shore, Pearberry, At the Beach, Poppy, Autumn Drive, Sunrise Woods, Warm Vanilla Sugar, Another of the Sea Soul Refreshing, Fresh Coconut and Cotton, Pink Lily and Bamboo, Blackberry and Basil, Cucumber Melon, Cocoa Paradise, Watermelon Mojito, Golden Mango Lagoon, Juniper Breeze, and Gangnam Vibrant. Body creams, when I first discovered Bath & Body Works, that was my weakness. That was the opening up of the gates. That was me diving into scents, me starting to try a lot of different things. And so, as you guys saw, I have a lot, a lot of the body butters. And they do tend to go bad. But I've heard so many different things about those expiry dates. So let me know your experiences in the comments down below. I have heard people, like in their videos, they say these body creams are good for six months to a year. 
which is insane, very fast. And I have, I've seen other people, um, including people who used to work at Bath and Body Works, who they have their collections and they have body creams just as old or even older than I currently have in my collection. And again, these 2020 ones haven't turned yet, but they still seem fine. But again, just trying to work through that massive stack you saw. There are six travel sizes, non-Bath and Body Works. And then in the full size for the creams, we have five which are non-Bath and Body Works and a whopping 30, three zero, which are Bath and Body Works lotions. Now, I tend to get through them very quickly. I, I'm thinking it's taking me, it's kind of difficult to gauge because I do have so many different body moisturization products in a variety of different projects. And of course, if I'm layering it with a like a body oil, I tend not to use the more heavily fragrant, thicker creams. I tend to use a thinner lotion that's light on fragrance. But I, I think it takes me about four weeks to use up a Bath & Body Works product. That's the number I'm going with for now. It might be a little bit less, but we'll go from there. 35 full sizes, six travel sizes. That is 41 body creams. So here we have a much smaller collection of body butters. So starting off the top, the ones that are used, one from the body shop is in Samatsu, Samatsa. A travel size from the body shop also in almond milk and from Leah Reese in sweet Bahama sugar. Additionally, there are three travel size body shops in the body butters. So we have the moringa, we have the coconut, and we have the strawberry. Finally, from chapter, we have the lychee and lotus and from Bath and Body Works, the whipped body butter in butterfly. Of course, we have the body butters, which are nice and tiny at least. And in terms of the body butters, I have four, which are travel sizes, which are non Bath and Body Works. Those ones, you've seen me use them in a project before. I do have one of those currently rolled into another project. They take me about four uses. So that's, I'm not that concerned about those at all. They'll get used when they get used. Uh, in terms of the full size butters, we have three that are non Bath and Body Works. One that is Bath and Body Works. Total of eight body butters. Not as concerned about that one. And again, we'll just kind of see on the seasonal appropriateness of everything. So we have peeled the curtain back. I have shown you guys my hopefully now entire, we'll see, a collection of all of the body care hygiene products. Again, the main way, if you want to see me work on these, skin is in. I have some products rolled in there. And of course, keep an eye out for my all my other themed projects because I tend to roll some stuff in there as well. I do have a game plan for all of these kind of categories to get me through the end of the year. So thank you so much for joining me for this kind of unique video on my channel. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Again, I know for some people this is a very large collection and for other people this really isn't that much. It's all everyone's different tastes, ways of using their products, personal preferences, shopping habits, budgets. But for now, this is my collection and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.